It's Tuesday, August 13th, but it kind of feels like it's Christmas because Adobe has given us another Muse CC update. This one's pretty exciting, and it's got three features, really, that are worth being excited about. It really only has three features total, uh, but all three of them are worth getting excited about, especially if you use the scroll motion or parallax scrolling features of Adobe Muse. So let's take a look at the release notes here. Uh, one of the big, big things is now your parallax scrolling effects will work on iOS devices. Uh, it'll work on an iPhone or an iPad. Uh, if you've already published a website and you've discovered that it does not work on an iOS device, that the parallax scrolling kind of freezes or just does not animate, uh, you will have to go back and republish your site. It won't automatically start working. Uh, Muse has to rewrite the code for you. So go back republish your website after you update to Muse 6.0 and your iOS devices will animate the scroll effects. It's really cool. And uh, they, they kind of moved the scroll effects too. It used to be on the toolbar at the top on a little drop down menu uh, under effects. They gave it its own panel on the right hand side or left hand side if you've moved the panel to the other side. But uh, you, you know the Adobe Muse panels that we love so much that we can't really freely rearrange. Uh, it now has its own panel. It's got its own one of those. So we've also got elements that are set to 100% page width. You know, you can set a, a box to fill the entire browser, even as the window is made larger and smaller. Uh, in the past, if you made an object 100%, you could no longer apply the scroll motion effects. It would be grayed out. Uh, they fixed that. You can now apply scroll motion to objects that are 100% browser width. Uh, and also, in the hyperlink department, uh, this is the third and probably, uh, honestly, well, they're kind of equally exciting, but I I'm really excited about this one because I've been waiting for it. Uh, now when you have a navigation pinned to your screen and you've got a single page website where you're linking to anchors, uh, I'll show you guys an example, but uh, as you scroll, your hyperlinks will acknowledge where you've scrolled on the page and your anchors can trigger your links to light up or to change uh, by using the active state. So let me show you guys some of these things real quick. Let me get out of here. Here is an example of 100% page width items uh, that use scroll motion. You guys may have seen my sliding panels tutorial. Um, I had to create that tutorial using little boxed images. I couldn't use uh, panels that filled the entire width of the browser. So now I can fill the width of the browser and these will follow my browser here and as I scroll they slide because I'm using the scroll motion to go from a speed of 1 to a speed of 0. See how they stop there? The next one stops, the next one stops, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, etc. Uh, I can now do that with objects that fill the whole browser which is really exciting. And back to that anchor state feature uh, here I've got some navigation at the top, I've got some rollovers here, and I also have active states that match the rollovers set for these things. But these don't link to different pages. These link to anchors on this page. So as I scroll, look at that, the active state just changed. And as I continue scrolling, as I pass the anchors associated with each of these links, it switches the active state live. Really, really cool stuff. I could also click on one of these, it'll scroll, and then once it gets there, uh, it'll change color, so that's really exciting. I am stoked about that. Really, really exciting. So, this is all cool stuff. I'm actually going to create some tutorials right now and show you guys step by step how I did these two things. And as far as the iOS stuff goes, uh, you guys can play with that for yourselves because really it's just taking something that didn't work properly before and making it work properly now. So, republish all your iOS stuff and it will animate your scroll motion effects on those iOS devices. And if you like this and if you're excited for the tutorials to come, uh, please subscribe because I've got these coming at you really shortly.